Hey guys, what's up? Um, in today's video, we're going to do something just a little bit different. You know, in general aviation, pilots first learn to fly using VFR, or visual flight rules. Later, they can get a rating to fly by instruments, IFR. And to take that test, they have to fly the airplane with a hood around their head connected to the dash, and that's all they can see is their instruments. And they have to prove that they can fly looking only at their instruments. In our world, it's almost completely the opposite. If you're new to flying, or if the only thing you've ever flown is a modern drone, you've become dependent upon what you see on the screen. And this information is fed into your brain, and then you make your adjustments here. And that sort of disconnects you from what your eyes see the aircraft doing, matching what you do with your sticks. But what if it didn't have to? What if what you're doing on the sticks correlates with what you're seeing and you can determine attitude of the aircraft only if it's a dot, even if it's a dot. Today, we're going to do a little visual flight rules training. Stick around. Okay, I'm getting ready to fly, and I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do. We're going to take off from a point up here in the center of this long pond. Uh, it's about five or 600 feet long. On the other side is a public, so I'm not going to fly over that. But we're going to fly far enough away to where we cannot see the orientation of the aircraft. I'm turning the lights off, I'm picking the gear up, um, and I'm dropping the hood once I'm out there. I have a visual observer. She's going to keep her eyes on my aircraft at all times. I'm going to turn away from the aircraft, put my back to it, and then we're just going to yaw for a little while to the left and then we're going to do the same to the right so that I have no way of knowing which way my aircraft is turning uh, or pointed when I turn back around. And so uh, I'm going to turn back around. We're going to give it forward command and we're going to discern a, a rudimentary heading and a velocity. And then based on that, I'm going to add a input from the rudder and we're going to turn the nose back towards us through two simple maneuvers and fly it all the way back. It's, a, it's an easy thing to do once you practice it. So let's go do it. Stick around. Okay, so I'm going to do this flight. We're going to go out over the pond about 500 feet out and we're going to uh, test our skills here. Um, you can see that I'm going to pull this up and the screen's going to get dropped down and you're not going to be able to see anything. And that's what we're going to do. So uh, let's start up and fly on out there. If you can see that, that's about 500 feet out. I'm going to drop the shade and I'm going to turn away. I've got a viewer over here, so I'm, I've got line of sight. And I'm just going to yaw to the left for a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's definitely yawing left. And I'm going to yaw right. And we're going to do two separate control inputs and using what we see coordinated with what we think is happening we should be able to tell the direction of the aircraft. So we're gonna get forward stick. It seems to be moving slowly to my right. We're gonna add right turn and it's rolling back to the right. Now it's coming to us. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna leave the sunshade down and go back out to the same position. Okay, the uh, hood is down. We're out there about 500 feet. I'm gonna roll left, y'all left rather. We're gonna turn to the right. And if you can see this, you should be able to see it turning, but you probably can't tell its orientation. Stop turning. Let's add forward input, forward stick. It's moving definitely to my right. I'm gonna add right yaw, and it's coming back around. And there it is coming to us.
the direct line between our eyes and the aircraft at a distance is the line of sight, or LOS. At a far distance, any aircraft movement will be relative to our fixed LOS in any of 360 degrees of direction. Using this as a basis, we can divide all movement into three primary categories by using the line of sight as a fixed reference point. All movement from 0 to 180 degrees will be seen as movement to the pilot's right, and all movement from 180 degrees back to 360 will be seen as movement to the pilot's left. Flight along the LOS forward or back will cause no apparent movement from the pilot's perspective. After the primary direction is established through forward stick application, we must determine if the speed we see in the initial movement is relative to the amount of stick applied, or if it's less. Movement directly adjacent to the LOS will appear at normal or actual speed, while any at lesser angles to it, forward or back, will appear to be moving slower from the pilot's view than the actual speed of the aircraft. Movement along the LOS in either direction will have no apparent speed unless you are at a high altitude, in which case the attitude is easily recognizable. In my first example, upon forward command, I noted that the primary movement was right and speed was slow, so the aircraft was either moving away from or towards me to the right. At this point, there are only two scenarios to work out, and determining these outcomes quickly while you are flying at a great distance just takes practice. If the aircraft were coming towards me, right stick would have produced movement to my left. It did not. Now it is known which direction the aircraft was pointing. Maintaining forward movement and holding right rudder until the aircraft swings around was a simple task. Once the right movement stopped, the aircraft was coming home. A simple exercise that will help you gain a better sense of directional control involves flying the aircraft nose first through maneuvers that require rudder coordination with forward flight to achieve precision turns. The first is a basic oval or rectangular pattern that involves turns in a single direction to complete the up and down wind legs. Practice flying this pattern until the shape becomes as precise as you can get it. You want the distance flown to the right and to the left to be equal while keeping the up and down wind legs parallel and straight. And it's more difficult than you think to fly that downwind leg at a distance without flying towards or away from you, but with a little practice you'll begin to feel and see when turns are complete and you're on the correct heading. After a while and with enough practice, the timing and coordination of your turns will become effortless. When you're comfortable with a right-handed pattern, it's time to turn around and fly a left-hand one until you can do either with the same ease. After you've got the basics, you can begin to enlarge the pattern and speed it up until you're comfortable flying at greater distances. Just know your limits and stick to them. Once you have the pattern established, you can move to a little more advanced maneuvers like a figure eight, which requires turns in both directions to complete. The figure eight requires the same type of timing and coordination as before, but now there are no straight lines and you are constantly on the rudder to stay on heading. And getting a figure eight symmetrical and centered takes a little more precision and skill, but as I said before, it just takes practice. Flying these maneuvers may not be something we do in our normal operations, but these types of exercises will build a foundational skill set that will aid all aspects of our flying, whether you are flying for fun or trying to get that perfect photo or video run. Just remember to take your time and have fun. Okay guys, that's about all the time for this video that I have. Um, another one's in the works, so we're going to try to keep these things coming. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, you can always put them in the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. And we will see you in the next video. Take care till then.